Welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Jay Brown and Colin Evans. And of course, I feel like the tuna series is something that some people have heard of, some people haven't. I think but so too. it's such a fun comedic it just is. play that you have to go see at some point in your life. It is, exactly. But for it someone is, who it hasn't is. seen it, what is it about? <laughs> well, as you know, uh, the tuna plays were written by Jason Williams and Joe Sears, and Jason grew up in Crosbyton. Not that Tuna is about Crosby Town, but it's about a small West Texas town. Tuna, Texas is the third smallest town in the state of Texas, okay? And the Tuna series, Greater Tuna and A Tuna Christmas, and then we're doing Red, White, and Tuna, which is the third one, is about all the interesting people that are in this small town. And there are people that, I don't know if you grew up in a small town. No, I grew up in the Dallas region. Ah, so the a Dallas little region. Bit, a little but, bit larger. But I still bet if you saw the play, you'd know the people. Oh, They're yes. They're the, the busybody, the kind of ne'er-do-well, the town drunk, the troublemaker, all those people. And it's fun. And sometimes you're like, I can't believe these people are saying these things to each other, are doing these things to each other. And you can't stop laughing while they're doing it. And so we did A Tuna Christmas. Yes. Christmas. And now we're doing Red, White, and Tuna, which is the 4th of July, Version. which is the 4th of July show, yes. Perfect. Now, you're actually one of the actors yes. in this play. Tell us about your character. Okay, I play Stanley Bumiller. Uh, what's really cool about this show um, is that at all times there's always two actors on stage. So I am, oh, I don't know how to put this with any other words, but I'd say I'm probably like the, the white trap. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. I'm very uh, unrefined uh, West Texan uh, who lives the bohemian dream. Okay. Uh, hits it big, spray paints dead animals. Don't tell too much, don't okay. tell too much. You're right, you're right. Yeah, no um, spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, but um, I, I am the son of the protagonist who was played by his wife. Okay. Right, uh, Pam. Yes, okay. Pam Brown. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. My character is not too far from like my real upbringing. I grew up in a sundown. <laughs> so it's like a pretty easy role for me. It's mm -hmm. just really natural to slide right into that. So uh, yeah, it's a fun role. But, but the fun thing about Tuna is that as Colin said, it's these people that you've known before and you recognize them. And, and Stanley's character is, the, is that character, and I taught kids like this, that you were like, <laughs> they'll never make anything out of their lives. You know what I mean, you know yes. those people. No. Well, and then suddenly he goes off and finds himself and comes back and is like, He's an artiste. He's an artiste. Okay. okay. Exactly, exactly. So when is this going on real fast, okay, we and how do people get tickets? Exactly, we open one week from today. Okay. That's June the 20th. And you can go online to, it's right there on your screen, LubbockCommunityTheater.org and reserve your own seats. It's two weekends in a row. Uh, all that information's on the website. Okay, and good for kids or just more adults? Uh, I would say PG-13, probably 13 years old and up. Yeah. Okay. It's got some language in Suggested it. Suggested okay. themes. Always good to know, Always but going to be great. You can, you can get tickets up until the day? You can get tickets at the door, but it's always good to reserve ahead of time. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining us Thank today. You. We really appreciate it. Make sure to grab those tickets. I'm sure they're going to go very quickly. The Tuna Series, definitely a hysterical thing to go watch. Coming up, details on the Loveland Sip and Shop. That's coming up.